The end of the new year is approaching and I'm telling you that if you want this new year to be different than the last, if you want to start living your dream life and become your best self, this video is for you. I'm going to teach you step by step how to reinvent yourself, level up and enter this new season of being the best version of yourself in a realistic way. If you're new here, hello, my name is Lena. I have a self-help series here on my channel where we discuss all things becoming your best self. So if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Go subscribe right now. So first things first, we gotta understand what reinventing ourselves means. It's not supposed to be some toxic thing like, this version of me right now sucks, I hate myself. I have to change literally every aspect of who I am at the core to have a better life. <laughs> no. That is actually rooted in insecurity. So I used to be exactly like that. I used to be so insecure of myself and have so much self doubt. And then I would wonder why I couldn't break any of my bad habits or reach my goals. So understand that reinventing yourself simply means that you are still the same person at the core. You are just improving and upgrading yourself. Yourself. You're evolving. You're reinventing your habits, your goals, your values, your look. I don't know about you guys, but I do not want to be the same exact person I was five years ago. Five years ago, Lena was, <laughs> she was not it, okay? She was struggling. So we're gonna start off by doing some self-reflecting, okay? Some people call it shadow work and it's basically you getting to know yourself more. So I want you guys to start off by writing down these five questions. First, where do I see myself in five years? What characteristics does the best version of myself have? What routine does the best version of myself follow? What type of people does the best version of myself surround herself with? What activities and hobbies does the best version of myself often do? I want you guys to answer as if it's your current reality right now. So for example, answering the first question, I am a successful YouTuber, a successful business owner, and I'm telling you guys there is power in words so when you're writing this down as if it's your current reality it's gonna help put you in the positive mindset and subconsciously remind you what it is you actually want your girl just finished doing some shadow work questions and I wanted to share a little bit of what I wrote down and if you guys answer these five questions leave them in the comments I want to read them and I feel like it's really important to share your dreams your goals your vision with other people who are gonna encourage you hype you up and I want this to be a positive space and you guys already know I read all my comments so I am a successful youtuber content creator and podcaster I'm an entrepreneur, business owner. I provide for my family and others. I'm independent, compassionate, social, selfless, confident, strong-willed, creative, successful, encouraging, intelligent, magnetic. I wake up early every single morning. I do my skincare. I show my daily gratitude. I pray, I journal, I work out, and I move my body. I surround myself with genuine, positive, successful people who encourage me, respect me, and we make each other better and help each other grow. I practice different forms of self-care every day. I lift weights, run outside, I do Pilates. I have a successful self-help podcast to help others. And yeah, that's about it. I know it might seem a little tedious to write things down, but I'm telling you, if you do it, you will not regret it. All right, you guys, we're gonna get ready for the gym. It's been a while since we did a pre-workout jam session. The work here isn't done, okay? You gotta take the steps to make this happen, girl. You can't just write things down and let it float in the air and do nothing and expect our lives to change, you know what I mean? So it's important to set clear, achievable, and measurable goals. So it's important to not just write down what it is you want, but also write down the actionable steps that you're gonna take to achieve that goal. Goals are just useless if you're not implementing steps to get there. I want to talk to you guys about setting clear, measurable goals. Working out is honestly the best example of this. You guys have no idea how many times I've tried to start working out and failed. <laughs> the way I actually kept at it and stayed consistent finally was when I was 19 I set the goal for myself to start working out five to six times a week and then I also created a workout schedule for myself to follow because it is not enough to just set the goal for yourself you got to implement a plan for you to get there you know what I mean invest in your physical. So now that we talked a lot about the inner work, we're gonna talk about the outer work too. It's important to take care of yourself and invest in your self care, improve on your physical. I know you might be thinking like, oh, look, shouldn't matter, blah, 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 which is true because there's some people where their physical is cute, but their inner is it's real ugly. <laughs> but it does help your confidence and your self esteem when the outer is glowing too. Now I have reinvented myself. I've learned how to do my makeup. I started putting in more effort into the clothes that I wore, dressing up, investing in myself, getting my nails done, even press-ons. These are currently press-ons, like literally $8, $9 press-ons. 
croissants. I started wearing jewelry. I always make sure I smell good. And it took me a long time to realize how much investing in my physical actually helps boost your self-esteem a lot more than you think. So have you guys ever had someone walk past you and you get like a whiff of them and you just remember them because they smell so good? <laughs> that is the exact reason why I spend so much time on my self-care, trying to smell good. And I'm gonna put you guys on all my secrets to smelling good. First of all, it is not enough to spritz some perfume under your armpits and call it a day, okay? <laughs> smelling good starts with your shower routine. So I'm gonna put you guys on the best shower routine products. These babies right here are from Tree Hut's holiday collection. I'm telling you, these Tree Hut products are gonna have people complimenting you left and right about how good you smell. And a shout out to Tree Hut for sponsoring today's video. You guys have no idea. I have been using Tree Hut way before I even got a sponsorship. I genuinely love their products. So if you want the secret to smelling amazing, you have to start layering. And that is why I love Tree Hut's products because they have a body wash, body scrub, body butter, even shaving gel. And I like to start off with some shower gel. Their foaming gel wash is amazing. It's so hydrating on my skin. And then I go in with the same scent, their sugar scrub, scrub off all the dead skin cells. It makes your skin feel so smooth. Also, if you're not exfoliating before shaving, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? And then I go in with their shaving gel. Lastly, I lock in all the amazing smells with the body butter. I've been obsessed with this scent, the Berry Bright scent. If you wanna smell delicious, fruity, yummy, this scent is for you. Their body butters are so soft and hydrating. I'm telling you guys, the best thing to do is invest in your self-care and make yourself smell good. So if you wanna start smelling amazing and practice some self-care, gift yourself or others this holiday season with Tree Hut's new holiday collection. You can head to the link in my description to support your girl. I really, really appreciate it if you do. They're also available at Ulta Target and Walmart and thanks again to Tree Hub for sponsoring today's video work on your personal style. So literally for me recently, I decided for myself that this new version of myself, she dresses nice and she is into fashion. I was never the fashion girly, could care less about what I wore. Like, I don't know if it's cause I'm getting older or something, but I'm getting way more into fashion and just dressing more classy. Like three years ago, you can never catch me in a turtleneck like this. Like no way. <laughs> three years ago, Lena would be like, girl, what are you wearing? But now I've developed and experimented my own fashion taste more and I am loving it. So welcome to my closet. <laughs> so we are about to do a massive closet clean out. I'm low-key a hoarder when it comes to my clothes. I have clothes in here from like freshman year of college, even like high school. Currently, your girl's kind of in this transformative phase with my style. This is my current aesthetic. And then this is the aesthetic I'm trying to go for more. I feel like this aesthetic just aligns way more with me right now. I'm trying to level up, trying to mature, trying to dress more classy. Like for example, this top right here, uh, she's gotta go. <laughs> this is definitely like a party top that I would wear in college. And now that I'm older, I don't even go out that much anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of that. Like I have never felt more confident dressing more classy and experimenting my own style. Miss Pika is in the shot. Hello, Miss Pika because that's what aligns with me more today. So don't be afraid to work on your own personal style. And guys, change is good, you know? Change helps us grow, it helps us evolve. So this is something I have learned the hard way <laughs> because I have been in many slumps and just felt very stagnant with my life. So I learned that to constantly evolve and not feel stagnant, you need to learn and develop new skills, especially the ones that help with your mental and your physical health. So for example, those of you who are real ones know that literally a year ago, I was heavy, just strictly into lifting weights. But now I've entered this new era of doing more Pilates and running, something that you would never catch me doing last year. Like cardio and me, no, we were not friends. <laughs> and so far trying these new forms of workouts, I. I am loving it so far. Like, trust me, I'm very much a beginner. In every class, I'm the one that is struggling. <laughs> but it feels so good to get out of my comfort zone and challenge myself in a very unfamiliar environment. And I actually tried a more advanced Pilates class and I actually vlogged it in my last video. If you didn't watch it, go watch it right now. But I talk about in the video how I was the worst one, clearly. <laughs> and I was the only one in the class that needed so much extra help from the teacher because I had no clue what I was doing. But still, it was such a good growth experience for me. And I've become way more confident because of it. And there's so many different skills you can try and get into. Too. You could learn weightlifting, cooking, learn a new language, hiking. Developing skills just adds to your confidence. This actually leads me to my next point, which is develop new hobbies. I recently started going to museums and art galleries. Yes, who is she? My girl Lex actually introduced me because she's very artsy and she's very into that stuff and I never was. And I'm so glad she got me into it because now I love and enjoy it. Like this is a hobby I never would have found myself in before. I love getting cute, going to like nice museums, art galleries, and just appreciating art and history. So try new hobbies. You can try thrifting, painting, photography, knitting, crocheting. There's so many different things you could try and exploring 
learn new hobbies is gonna help you learn more about yourself and what you like. And it just helps you honestly continue to be excited about life <laughs> and what life has to offer. Not to be cheesy, but excited about what life has to offer. So a huge part of reinventing yourself is who you choose to surround yourself with and how you choose to spend your time. It is so important to have like-minded people around you. So, you know, put yourself out there. Go meet friends. Go meet new people. Go to that event instead of staying home. I remember my freshman year of college, I would complain all the time about not having friends. And when I look back, if I'm being really honest with myself, a lot of it had to do with the fact that I never went out. <laughs> I would just hold myself in my dorm room and just feel bad for myself and mope. And you do not need to try to be besties with everybody you meet, but even pushing yourself to meet and interact with different types of people is really gonna help your confidence and hopefully you're gonna eventually find people that align with your values and your goals and inspire you also I don't know who needs to hear this but if you watching this right now if you currently have people in your life that are toxic like literally sucking the life out of you and not appreciating you not aligning with your values or the best version of yourself anymore or just don't add anything to your life remove them okay and this is not to be a hypocrite okay I was the biggest people pleaser before and it made me stay in friendships that I should have been left you know what I mean but after I finally started putting myself out there and making the effort to meet new people make new friends find like-minded people I finally found amazing genuine friends who genuinely support me and hype me up so if the people around you right now currently are not your biggest cheerleader they're not supporting you in everything that you do you should only be surrounding yourself with people who genuinely want the best for you there's no jealousy cattiness fakeness gossiping just genuine love and support and anyone giving less energy than that is not a friend you know there's a saying that you are the sum of the five closest people in your life. So if any of those five right now are currently not it, remove them. I promise you that there are people out there that deserve to be in your life. Remove the toxic placeholders that are keeping you from finding those genuine people. And finally, you can be whoever you wanna be. So cliche, I know, but it is so true. If you wanna be a gym girly, you can be a gym girly. If you wanna be a YouTuber or social media influencer, you can do that. If you wanna be living your dream life, you can. As very regular, regular me, I can attest to you that the minute I stopped thinking I was not good enough or thinking I'm just not the type of person to do that, and instead I put that energy into working to improve myself and reinvent myself, that's when I changed and my life changed. So if I can do it, I promise you can do it too. I know that there's so many insecurities people out there because I was once that too like I used to be so insecure I used to look at other people achieving things that I wanted to achieve and I would just be like oh they're just special oh they're lucky they have things that I don't have no that is the negative mindset that kept me in that space for so long and the minute I broke out of it is when things finally changed so I really want to encourage you guys if you want to reinvent yourself if you want to be somebody achieve things you can 100% do it so I want you guys to comment down below if you are currently in your journey of reinventing yourself improving yourself so you know we can hype each other up be each other's hype men go check the comments i read all my comments if you're not subscribed already what are you doing <laughs> okay what are you doing also follow me on instagram if you're a real one i love you guys so much and i hope to catch you in my next video bye guys